morning. My name's Andy Travis of TPT Personal Training. Today, we're going to talk about sleep. Let's talk sleep, guys. Most of us want more of it. Most of us don't get enough of it. But what actually happens to us, physiologically speaking, whenever we don't get a good night's rest? The first thing, our insulin resistance increases. Now, we all know that insulin is directly related with our blood sugar. Blood sugar goes up, and we run the risk of becoming pre-diabetic, so on and so forth. Also, our ability to use glucose for fuel decreases. In other words, our muscles can no longer uptake the glucose and as glycogen and use it as fuel so that we can feel energized. Hence why if you exercise after a night of poor rest, you tend to fatigue quicker than after a night of uh, fulfilling rest. Second thing that happens, more specifically speaking with the liver, our insulin actually sends two signals to our liver that tells it two different things. One is to stop producing glucose, and the second one is to stop storing glucose as glycogen within the actual liver. Now, once those signals stop, our body continues to make glucose, continues to store glycogen. Eventually, the liver is going to get full, so it's going to look for other places to store that glycogen. Where is that? In fat cells around our body. Now, the last thing that happens is lipolysis or lipolysis stops completely. In other words, our ability to burn fat stops. So our insulin resistance uh, increases, so we have higher blood sugar. Now we also have more glucose coming into our body, which our muscles now cannot use for fuel because they are so tired. And the last thing is we cannot burn fat. So we end up this vicious cycle where we're increasing our blood sugar, increasing the amount of glucose into our muscles, which can't actually use that glucose. Then it gets stored as glycogen in our liver, which then fills up, which then starts to store it in our fat cells. Hence why we begin to become overweight or we get abdominal fat if we're not sleeping well and if our nutrition is poor. Now there are a lot of things that we can do to help us beat this vicious cycle and to help us get a good restful night. Stay tuned over the next couple of weeks. We're going to be putting some videos out there to help you guys move towards a healthier night's sleep. Starting next week with video number one, figuring out exactly what your sleep efficiency is. Stay tuned. We'll reach back out to you next week.